I came to John Foster and I sat in his office in Cape Town and I asked him, I said, I want to break apartheid in sport. South Africa has produced some of the finest sports heroes in the world. One of those individuals is Gary Player, who won 165 tournaments on six continents over seven decades. He was included into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1974. You were persecuted for apartheid while you were playing abroad and you were taking the brunt for what our government was doing here even while you were not supporting that. All right. Well, the thing is, our rugby players did it, our cricketers did it, our athletes did it, our boxers did it. And they wanted to kill me for two years. In fact, I lost the PGA, which is one of the four most important tournaments in the world. They threw telephone books on my back, on the top of my back, swing ice in my eyes, charged me on the green, threw balls between my legs when I'm putting. And, you know, I didn't have any bitterness about it. I said, you know, maybe I deserve it because South Africa is practicing an apartheid system. And I never had any bitterness, but it was very difficult. Uh, had I lived in America, I would have won a lot more tournaments. But that wasn't my, my desire. So, everybody had suffered in those years. It's strange. But there's something about being uh, punished unfairly for something you didn't do, yet you kept your cool, you pushed through, and you still played well. And I handled it with love. I told them. I went and met some of the, the, the demonstrators and I said, I want you to know, even though you prevented me from winning the tournament today, that I have nothing but love for you. And I said, um, I told them, I said, why don't you send a man down to South Africa? And they sent a Mr. Williams, a black man, to come down here. And he went to the clubs. And fortunately, I always bought the caddies pies and cold drinks and tipped them well and gave them hats and things like that. And he came down here and he saw that I'd sponsored 10 blacks to play overseas, Vincent Chabalala, Papua Sagalim, I paid his airfare to Australia and I played with them. And I was president of the PGA. I resigned from our PGA because they wouldn't put two black guys on our committee. So they knew that the things that I was trying to do. So he came down here and he went back to America and he said, we're demonstrating against the wrong guy. And I wanted to break apartheid in sport. Now, I don't think there's 10 people in this country know that I did that. I went along to John Foster. I spoke to the black golfer in America, Lee Elder. I said, Lee, he was the first black man to play in the Masters. Will you come to South Africa and let me get this mission done? He said, I will come. And they, the black people in America, the black caucus put tremendous problems on his way not to come, pressure. I came to John Foster and I sat in his office in Cape Town and I asked him, I said, I want to break apartheid in sport. He says, what do you want to do? He had those big eyebrows. I said, I want to bring a black golfer from America to South Africa to play in an important tournament, the PGA, that gets big coverage. And he looked at me, seemed like a long time. I thought he was going to say, no, leave my office. And he said, go ahead. And it went off fantastic. And he came over here and he did so much good. And I stood in the Cape Town airport and one guy called me a fariah, a traitor, because I did that. But that's what I believed was right. And so that was the greatest moment for me in my sport in South Africa. If you like these videos and you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. If you would like to make suggestions for the individuals we should interview next, would you please drop that in the comment box below.